Hi and welcome along to the second of the series of tutorials on programming the ID5100 with the CS5100 programming software. In this tutorial we're going to look at the repeater list and how to add a repeater. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the list, click in the new, do a right mouse click and an insert, you see the software is already populated it with DV repeater. We'll give it a name, GB7II, and we're in the southeast of England. And the call sign is going to be GB7II space space B for a UHF repeater. The software has already populated the gateway for us, and we'll give it a frequency of 4. 39.7 megahertz. It's a 9 meg offset for the UK. And if we scroll over to the right hand side you'll see that there is a place to put the long and latitude of the repeater. So we do a double click there, do an approximate. If you're not sure what the long and lat are you can go off to um, uh, streetmaps.co.uk, enter the postcode in and uh, it'll come back with uh, where the the area of where the postcode is. If you click on the click here to convert to coordinates you'll end up with a screen that gives you the long and lat. So all we need to do is enter those into here and the northerly is 51 21.44 and easterly 001.08.53 So we've now entered a repeater complete with this long and lat. We can set the UTC to 0 so they're all comment and we've now got a digital repeater called GB7II. We can go in and edit it at any time. If we go in here and double click we could, for example, call this ICOM repeater. So we've now edited that field. And if we wanted to move that up the list so it was in the right place, uh, for convenience I'll just put it in here so as it's on the same screen you can see what's happening. So we'll do an insert there and create a line at number 42. We can go down to the bottom of the list, right mouse click, do a copy go back up to where we've done that insert and do a paste it will ask to overwrite that line do an OK and we've now moved it up but you see we have two copies so we need to go and delete the original one from down the bottom delete it yes so we've now moved that up into the list you can delete a line at any time if you want or shorten the list or, or move the list around so as it suits what you, you require so that's created a new repeater uh, in the digital section. We could go to the FM repeater section and do exactly the same thing. But of course we would pick, double click in there, and we'd pick an FM repeater as opposed to a digital repeater. I'll just you know, delete that. And we could also, if we wanted, create a new group of repeaters or for ourselves and copy it and paste from uh, the existing ones into them. But you must remember that if you do that, that uh, you must delete the original one or you'll end up with duplicates. So that's creating a new entry into the repeater list. Hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.